Hi, David Vaughn here. No doubt about it, with over a billion users, Facebook has become a tool that we all love and depend on a lot of times. But it's more than just about connecting with friends. It's also become a source of information that a lot of times we rely on or find very useful. What if there was a way to easily categorize, organize, and recall these posts without having to do what a lot of people do, which is share it to your timeline? I'm here to let you know that there is an easy way to do it. It's using an app called Evernote. And in this video, I'm going to show you the few short steps that you can do to making sure that those Facebook posts that you want to keep are in a place that you can always get to them no matter what device you choose. Stay tuned. Okay, now before I show you how easy it is to save any kind of post in Facebook to Evernote, whether it be on your timeline, a friend's timeline, on a fan page, I want to make sure that you've got the correct tools in place. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that you're using the Google Chrome browser because that's what's going to be required. And then you're going to make sure to open it up, go over to the apps, and we want to go to the Google Store for the web browser itself. And once you click in there, you're going to make sure to have installed the Evernote Web Clipper. Now, if you've already got all this installed, then great. You're already a couple of steps ahead of the curve. If not, make sure to just pause this video and then install that item. Once you do, you'll notice that it'll be a little icon up here. And then once we do that, whatever you want to save to Evernote, all you need to simply do is a couple of different steps. So I always make sure you want to go over where the date is. And right click and go to open link in a new tab. This will put that in that new tab. And then what you want to do is you want to sit there and click on the Evernote Web Clipper. If you're not already signed into Evernote, you'll need to know your credentials, get signed into Evernote. Once you're signed in, you should see an area just like this and then up here at the top and for some reason it's hidden you want to click on that plus until it shows this whole area not grayed out and you want to clip that article just click save you can change the notebook that you want to go I only have one notebook set up right now it's called Facebook swipe so it's kind of a notebook that I created to put all the different posts that I want to save into there and then I can sort them out later when I go back into Evernote and I click Save and if you want to add any tags to it or anything of that nature you can do that as well and then once that's done you can just open up either go to Evernote on the web or you can open up the Evernote app on your computer or you can open it up on the iPhone, the iPad, your Android, tablet, Windows, whatever it is you have. Sync up if you haven't synced up yet. And you'll notice that your next item is now in here. And this is now clipped in here. And the benefit of this is it's a fully searchable item. So if there's a particular response that you're looking for, a particular phrase or word, so let's say we're looking for possible. You can do that. And that search will bring up and highlight possible. So these are now searchable terms that are in here. So anyway, that's it. It's a real quick, easy thing to do. I hope this helped you out. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time. <music>